Their expert meteorologist Peyton Malone is joining me now. Peyton, where is Ian exactly right now? It is actually back in the uh, water now after passing over the Cape Canaveral area earlier this morning. It is now in the waters. Now the winds are up to 70 miles an hour, but the deal is the wind field has gotten so big with Ian and it is still fighting some dry air and shear, so it's not expected to consolidate and come back together very quickly. The core is just too big, but it, it was likely going to organize some more and it's on the verge of becoming a hurricane and again it is causing pretty big storm surge problems on the eastern coast of Florida this afternoon off towards Jacksonville and anywhere in between uh, Daytona Beach and Jacksonville has some inundation. Here's where it's headed. It's going to be making landfall somewhere around Charleston tomorrow afternoon. Charleston is right there in the middle of the cone and uh, that could be moving in is potentially about a cat one, which means they could see some surge. This is a very susceptible area to storm surge as well. Could top up to seven feet or so for the Charleston area, and then it's lifting inland. The good news is it's not going to be stalling like Ian was as it moved into Florida. It will continually move up towards the north and then near Charlotte as we go into early Saturday morning and by this weekend lifting up towards the Smokies and maybe up towards eastern Tennessee or extreme western Virginia there. So overall could bring some rainfall to the mountainous areas here. If you got plans of the mountains, plans to Charleston, keep that in mind because this could be dumping some heavy rain across that region. Once again, our weather has been fantastic and we'll talk more about our local forecast and more on Ian coming up in a bit. Kate.